I designed the Gen 14 in October last year for Make Magazine, and my friend Nathaniel, a very talented boat builder, built this kayak. He also made this video. Because of copyright, I can only show you a short clip of the video. It's a very nice boat. In building this kayak, the most costly item is the chloroplast. I will need about 3 to 3.5 three sheets of uh, 40 inches by 96 inches chloroplast. This is only 4 mm thick, and if you buy 10 pack, it will roughly cost about $15.50 each. It comes to around $70 for 3.5 sheet. The next item is the Gorilla Glue. To me, it's costly. It cost me $9.84. In my design, I try to avoid using any glue. Instead, I try to fuse the corpus together, which is even stronger. But if you prefer to glue multiple sheets together, it works too. I have used this kind of glue to glue multiple sheets together to make a thicker sheet. Next item is the Gorilla Tape. I have used this tape in my very first design <laughs> to tape sheets together to make a boat and it works but I don't have confidence it will last. You may need a uh, tape to tape the edge of the coral plus so as not to cut your finger. After you fuse the coral plus you may want to add another layer of tape just to make sure that water will not leak into the boat. And there are other options too. There's something called the Gorilla Waterproof Tape. And it costs $13.40 for 10 feet long. I believe my friend has tried this one. It's 4 inches wide. I think it's a good choice. But it's a little bit costly. And it is only 10 feet. The fourth item is the screws. My friend used the stainless steel screw, which is expensive too. I use this one to mount the lattice cap onto the coroplast. I used the two six feet long lashing to hold the bow and stern together, which cost about $1.25 each. You may use rope instead of lashings, which will cost a lot less. You may want to use the three quarter inch 10 feet long schedule 40 PVC pipe to make the cross beams probably need two pieces. To make the 90 degree band, you may just get a 10 pack PVC elbow, which is cheaper than buying individual piece. Next is to get the PVC cement to make the cross beam and glue all the PVC pieces together. I suggest you to get a smaller bottle because it evaporates quickly and it's difficult to keep for a long time. I need to get a silicone to seal the joint and this would work fine. Then take a look at the lattice caps. There are many colors and they come in 8 feet long. You just pick the color you like. I need to get the pipe straps where the PVC pipe will go through. And again, getting 10 pack is better than buying individual pieces. To secure the cross beam onto this strap, in my other video, I used the hitch pin. This may be a better choice. You can get different kinds from Amazon and many other places. This one looks like a good deal. Because the PVC pipes are 3 quarter of an inch in diameter, Therefore, I want to pick a pin with small diameter. So far, all the products I've found are at a quarter of an inch in diameter or bigger. I will post a simple design guide for Gen 14 on my website, which will include this bomb. Hopefully, you will find that useful. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the tools I use in building this kayak. I will also talk about things that I have missed that may help you to build this kayak. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. See you. Bye.